Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, y'all might be wondering, you've never played a FromSoft game on your channel before. Why are you doing it now? Because we all know what From Software is famous for. Every studio has it. Uh, for Bethesda, it's re-releasing Skyrim on 19,000 different platforms. Uh, for Bioware, it is good RPGs that now devolve into bad RPGs. And now a shoot looter, schluter, if you will, that is doing very, very, very badly. Uh... And for From Software, it is Dark Souls and Bloodborne and games that have become synonymous with difficulty. I've wanted to, actually, for the longest time, actually play a From Software game on my channel. I just didn't have my balls <laughs> available to me to actually do it. Um... <laughs> I, sh I should rephrase that. It's it's more of a... I, I didn't... I... There's a special amount of cowardice that is in me to save you guys from my ultimate struggling uh, with the game. And uh, I've decided since I have my own apartment now, I'm in the middle of, you know, getting into my own stride in things after pretty much five years, six years running this channel now. Uh, I, I kind of need to do something special to uh, break it in, you know? And I figure what, what wouldn't be a, a better choice than to choose a newer game from the studio that's synonymous with rip your hair out difficulty than Sekiro. Now, I've, I've, I've watched a bit of it. I do know how some of the game goes. I, I My main thing, I was on the fence on it, on getting the game originally. Uh, but Xbox had given me $10 off for being such a good customer, I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was watching one of my favorite streamers, uh, um, Angrace Pat. Shout out to him. Um, who was playing the game and he was struggling. He was just getting his ass handed to him and he's not a bad souls player in fact he's one of the people who wanted who got me interested in souls um he, he's not bad he actually helped coach uh another uh streamer now uh woolly versus or woolsworth or woolly or darlington however you want to you know call him um <laughs> and he coached him through the dark souls series and you know, it, it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch and uh, enjoyable. I remember watching in the Dark Souls series um, how they managed to breeze through things. Breeze being a relative term. Um, as much as you can breeze through anything in a From Software game. Um, I remember them breezing through things that I found myself having difficulty with. And it was a pretty decent guide, I think, to help me actually do it. So that was what got me into Souls games in general. Uh, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing first before I put them on the channel. But I figure, you know what? I might as well do a relatively blind run through of Sekiro. And it, it stayed relatively blind because they had so much trouble breaking habits from the Dark Souls games that do not apply anymore. Almost none of them apply anymore to Sekiro. So, I think it might be 
<laughs> it might be quite a bit of unearned um, cockiness. <laughs> I, I said it on their stream, so a bit of unearned cockiness that I, I think I might... <laughs> like I said, unearned cockiness. I think I might be able to do this. I think I might be able to handle this game for what it is. Now, from software's games, uh, <laughs> it, it's hard to put into words necessarily what it is. It's that there are, there are stricter rules in place for From Software games, for Dark Souls, and for Bloodborne, and for Sekiro. Um, I've probably mispronounced this name like three times in my <laughs> references to it, but anyway. Um, there, are, there are stricter rules in place than there are for other games, and you have to play by those rules. There are no... You know, there's there's very few cheatsy doodle, uh, exploity things that you can do in From Software games uh, that you come to get accustomed to in most other gameplay formats. And if you follow other gameplay formats, you get your asshole destroyed. <laughs> you get it handed to you on a silver platter saying, eat it. Because... That is what will happen to you. So, that's that's kind of why I, I kind of laugh at the uh, idea of FromSoft being, you know, synonymous with difficulty. But at the same time, I realize, uh, after my own playthroughs <laughs> on uh, various Soul games, uh, it, it, it can be, it can be difficult to... Uh, to accustom yourself to a change in format like that. But uh, that's enough of me talking, jammering on. It's time to get into the game. I have not touched anything thus far other than getting the language settings to English because I don't want to have to retranslate uh all of the speech all of the time. I've learned uh, from the uh, Knights of the Old Republic playthrough that sometimes I'm not doing it fast enough because my brain is broken and my tongue is more broken and <laughs> my ability to speak quickly can sometimes be challenged, especially with my Shatner-esque pauses that I have from now and then. Uh, <laughs> so, uh that in mind. Everything's set up relatively okay, I think. Uh, reset. Uh, no. No. Uh, camera speed. Six is probably good, but five is... Five looks right to me, you know? Alright. Blood, subtitles, HUD, auto hide partial. Um... Uh, I don't think I don't think I want to hide any of it. I might as well show most of it, just so y'all know what I'm doing. Um, let's turn the music and whatnot down uh, just a little. Eh, let's keep the voice up and sound effects up a little. But music, we'll turn that down a little. There we go. So much better. And I might turn up the game audio later in later recordings, as I often do. I try to mix and match what I do with those settings. But uh, for now, I think this should work just fine. Now, save settings and finish setup. Now, unlike other Souls games where you can create your own characters and indeed create monstrosities, as it's been pointed out, this one doesn't have a character creator. You are starting with a story that the is remade. Of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. Oh. 
Yep. That's Sengoku, all right. Is the war finally over? Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Control it better, so they tried to do it. Oftentimes, that was how it went. Um. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose. Ow. Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, it looked like he was... went on to become a master shinobi. It looked like Listen, he was... Wolf, you must never forget the shinobi code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? It looked like he was just scavenging off the battlefield after all of that. I mean, that was also fairly common in the Sengoku era as well. Oh, that loading time. <laughs> I don't remember that being a thing. All right. Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Already not doing a great job there, Wolf. Just saying. Down in a pit. Shinobi. Open your eyes. For the sake of your master. Plop. This is very Dark Souls 1-esque start. Sitting in the uh, bottom of a pit or jail, sort of. Kind of woe is me position. And something drops from above. Give us a way out. And some of y'all might notice that uh, he still has his arm. Uh, in the gameplay, he doesn't have that later. But right now, he still has it. This is starting before that entire uh, segment happens. Now, give me a moment. I'm going to mute my computer because I don't think I did.
Cool, there we go. Just wanted to make sure I didn't get interrupted or anything. Okay, so. Ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf. It's a black's wolf, okay? Uh, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. Alrighty. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. And this is just... Water, I guess. And I can jump fucking like a dolphin. Look at that. Wow! That's basically what the jump looks like to me. Alright, there we go. <laughs> now we head up. Up. Oh. It helps when I learn the controls properly. That is a wall jump. Ashina Reservoir. That explains the water behind me. Is there anything back here I could use or get? Because that seems like a souls thing that I could exploit. No? Nope. Okay. Well, fuck me, I guess. Also, I can kick in the air as well. That's what the second whoosh is. In case you're curious. Toggle wall hug. Alrighty. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Whoa. Uh. Oh, that's a lock on. Okay. Stealth. Okay. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the moon view tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. Now, that is a new thing. Uh, a new thing. Uh, usually, that is not a uh, mechanic that is involved in the Souls games. Uh, stealth. Uh, mainly because you are expected to fight head-on, and if you die, you die. Uh, this game kind of allows you to... Uh, escape and regroup a little bit which makes sense because you're playing as a shinobi ninja sort of thing so that makes sense so uh close this and I'm just that gonna shinobi sneak. at the bottom of the well we didn't shackle hey, him restrain him nothing that doesn't worry anybody not at all not only is he unarmed he has completely lost his will to live nothing but a coward Unworthy of our concern. Oi! Wolf can slip into tight spaces such as beneath the floors when crouched. Alrighty. I guess I'm just gonna have to do that over here. Whoops. Whoop. Okay. Well, they didn't see me. They did not see me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm about that sneeze, but we get this tutorial. <laughs> that snuck up on me. Okay, we get this little tutorial because I was about to sneeze. The equipment menu, quick items. The equipment menu allows you to change your currently equipped quick items. There are five slots available to equip and switch out quick items as needed. Alrighty, which would be those. These are the other things. I I don't know any of them, to be honest. I was in and out on some of the stream. Okay. Inventory menu. Items currently in possession can be viewed through the inventory menu. Homeward bone, which is homeward idol. Uh, small palm-sized wooden Buddha can be used repeatedly. Already we get a repeated use one. Held by the wolf ever since he was saved by his father, his corner its corners are rounded with use. This Buddha is used to return home. It will return the user to the last visited sculptor's idol or the dilapidated temple. Alrighty. Let's uh, do all the options stuff. Alright. Alright, well. Oh! Okay. 
All right. First death. Whoever said this wasn't going to be a deathless run. Uh, you're wrong. <laughs> I don't think it was me. Alrighty. Let's try that again. Currently unarmed. You don't say. I already know this. And of course it gives you the tutorials again because you're in the area where you would need them. Okay. Talk a wall hug. And now another thing is that I know particularly that I do not need to overhear them again. So. Oh, that was it. I decided to get out of the bushes a little too early and that was the problem. Oh, come on. Like devour my colon. That is bullshit. All right. Okay. Down we go. Ledge hang. All right. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. All right. Climb up. All right. Cool. Whoops. There we go. Now, there was a person up there I feel like I probably will get to listen to at some point. So, X is the grip button. I'm learning from this. Okay. Well, nothing I can grip there. Alright, so... Grippable places are lined with a bit of white. Okay learning as I go. The ubiquitous yellow is replaced with white. Makes sense. Huh, I expected these guys to be talking. Huh. I don't know why I expected that. Alright. Well, we got a kid in here. I'm assuming this is who we need to talk to. <gasps> Yo. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. That's another thing the protagonist has voiced this time around. Well then. Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. Kusabimaru. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. Yep. As you command. This is our first weapon. First and only. As far as I'm aware. Kusabi Maru. Hey! Achievement! Revered Blade. Received the Kusabi Maru from Kuro. A katana given by Kuro, the divine heir. An heirloom of the Hirata family. A cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kasuba... <laughs> oh, get ready for this one, folks, because my, my tongue is not good with long names. Kusabimaru beseeches uh, a shinobi's rule. Apparently it's not good with short words either. A shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. 
a mantra of the blade itself may manifest. Mercy. Oh, I could open that and then screw everything up. Or I could not do that. Okay. Uh, do I equip that? No. Presumed already on my inventory. Okay. Cool. Um, nothing else I see in here. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk to the boy. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use oh. it to heal your wounds. Okay. The Estus. <laughs> like I said, this is a fairly Souls-esque game, but a lot of the rules have changed. Uh, most of the staples are still there, though. The Healing Gourd. A gourd filled with vitality, restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd. Made by an uh, apprentice of the extraordinary Dr. Dogen. Uh, I can talk, really, I can't. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Alrighty. Signal with a reed whistle uh, when we get to the place we're supposed to go. Okay. You can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Sure, my mouth will say that. All right. Uh, use quick item, cycle quick items. Okay, so much like uh, normal other things. There we go. Healing gourd. I uh, should probably put the homeward idol over here. That's locked to me. I can't do nothing about nothing there. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, should I go up? Uh, whoop. There we go. Pellets. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battles since time long gone and lent to the famed resilience of Sheena warriors. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. So serve, not serm. My brain broke there. Okay, so I can equip that there. Just in case I need it. Healing Gourd seems more like a... Uh... Which button? Which button is it? Tch. I was used... There we go. Okay. Seems more of a uh, instant use healing item. As far as I'm aware, pellets are regeneration, so it's slower use. Uh, so kind of like the life gems of Dark Souls 2, which more or less broke most of the rules of that game. But... Uh, just to see how high up my health can go. That far. About that far. Not full health. Okay. 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 Cool. Now we get into combat. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Attack after breaking posture, death blow. Okay. And now my sword is drawn. I can toggle the target lock on. And I'm gonna sneak attack him. Hi there! Glad you could join us. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Alright. Fuck you. These guys are simple. I could just break through their posture like that. Okay. 
block was this one. I hit the wrong button. I hit the uh, trigger button instead of the uh, shoulder button. That was my bad. I will do that a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay, at least until I relearn the game mechanics. All right. Okay, sometimes relentless attacks are not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination, a, a common, combination, combination <laughs> of deflect and attacks to achieve swift victory. Okay. Hi there, bud. Uh. Booyah! Fall. Thank you. Alright, there's two of them there. Should probably try and use sneaking to my advantage. By locking onto your target and keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. Yeah, yeah. That seems pretty self-explanatory. this other than direct combat. Okay. Well, I guess I have no choice. Either, buddy. How's it going? Alright. Fuck you. Oh boy, this is going to be the tough one. All right. My problem is probably going to be getting the timing down. I'm noticing that I'm starting to hit buttons a little early, and I'm wondering if that's going to affect my ability to actually do it on time later on in the game. But, uh, I'm noticing I'm doing a lot of the prompts a little early. And, uh, that might screw me up later on. Leader Shigenori Yama, Yamauchi. I have to make sure I pronounce that right. Shigenori Yamauchi. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Okay. A counter slash can be, for, uh, can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving, giving the enemy time to recover. All right. <laughs> And yeah. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, that's what the dots are for. Okay, I started noticing them midway through the stream and I wasn't sure what the dots were about. Okay. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. All right, fair enough. Oh, I... I was pretty sure I hit the button a time there. Okay, that was my bad. Alright, I'm a little screwed. Oh, he blew through my posture. Okay. Up. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. That was to be expected. I blew through all my healing items. So, I had nothing to do except just charge, 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 charge. Wow, that load can get really quick at a certain point. And... Hi there! <laughs> Up to you. There we go. Alright. Let's try all of that again. 
<laughs> ah, I blocked it. There we go. Alright, well, it's healing gourded up. There we go. I have no pellets, only heating healing gourds that are left to me. Okay. There we go. Good. Ow. Fuck you. There we go. Okay. Break through your guard shit. There we go. Oh, geez, ow. There we go. I'm getting a little ballsy here. I'll admit, I'm getting a little ballsy. Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on. Okay. I know how to use quick items, I just don't have any. There we go. And did it. There we go. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got a pellet out of that, though. Hey! Pellet. Nice. Oh, and there's... Oh, Let's not jump off a fucking wall, shall we? Fistful of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashina, the snow falls thick, and thus the hearth runs thick with ash. Makes sense. Okay. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now, mainly because, uh... I cannot go through this. Yep, I'm going to have to go around that way. And that's going to test my platforming ability, which sucks. <laughs> so... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and getting a little unnecessarily cocky. Even though the game has uh, shown me twice now that uh, I absolutely should not be. Because I have no fucking reason to be. <laughs> for you.